Hello everyone, Dusty Flight Guy here, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can play Genshin Impact on your Mac for free. Alright, there are a few things we need to get out of the way. Your Mac does need to be a Silicon Mac, and that's really it. And we will be using the mobile version of the game, although keyboard and mouse will work and controller will work as well. And it's a lot smaller because the PC version is around 128 gigs, and I'm sure most people with a base MacBook would not have that storage space available. All right, the first step you're going to want to do is go into the description and go to this site called playcover.io. Now you want to press the download button. You want to go latest. It will appear here. Double click it, it will open up a damage file. Damage, whatever you want to call it. And just drag and drop into applications. And it's really that simple. We can now eject it. I will also eject that server. And then we can go to applications find I'm um, just applications play cover there we go we can open it it will say is the app download from the internet do you want to open press open all right and that's the first step done second step is downloading actual Genshin Impact and then the second link in description there will be ads here not my ads you want to go to this site decrypt.day it gives you IPAs for games and you want to press download for free on Genshin and you want to find whichever link you want. I'm going to have to log in. I'm going to choose via Discord. Authorize. And it glitched. So we just go back and we press download. Or download to get download link. It will probably take us through a few ads because. Oh no, it actually did just take us straight to the. Google Drive, click download. This seems sketchy. I don't think it's sketchy though. I shouldn't have said that. It's not sketchy. All right, now that's downloading. All right, so the next step we're gonna wanna do is go to the other link in the description where you'll find play cover key maps. This is really important. And we can go ahead and either go to the key map repository or just click here to download it all. It's not very big, so I'm just gonna do that. Open it up. Find key mapping, go to Genshin Impact, and I'm just going to go ahead and drag and drop that onto my desktop, and then I'm going to delete these, move to bin. And while we wait for Genshin to download, actually we can't do anything, we just need to wait, I will be back. Alright, the app just finished downloading, so what we can go and do is go back into that play cover app we have, you can drag and drop it onto your dock if you want, and you want to press import IPA. Go to downloads, find this IPA, the one you downloaded, and it should extract the app from it. But we are not finished yet. There's still a few steps we need to do to really ensure this game runs properly. Again, we just need to wait a little bit for that it to extract properly. I can go ahead and close my browser and OBS. All right, it is finished. So we can go ahead and right click it. Then we go and go into settings. Go to graphics. I'm setting it to M1, but you can change it to whatever device you want. Resolution, you can change that if you want. I would not change most of this stuff, but of course you can if you really want. You can turn on the metal hard. I guess I'll do that. You press OK. All right, so the next step we're gonna wanna do is press right click, import key mapping. We're gonna want to go into, I'm just gonna put this folder back in downloads to make it easy to find. Genshin Impact. I'm just going to find Genshin Impact off Play Map. Open. Key mapping imported. You can delete that file if you really want to, but now we've got to right click it and it will open. You should pair a controller beforehand if you want to use controller. This game works well with a controller. And basically, to enable your mouse to be able to move, you want to press the Option button on your keyboard. I don't know what it'd be if you haven't got an Apple keyboard, it'd be Alt. See there, Option. It's locked. Take it off. It's not locked anymore. And as you can see how the game is running, we can go ahead and sign in. I'm gonna... All right, I've signed in and now I can press tap to begin. This will start downloading all of the resources we need. It's not 422 megabytes, trust me. Now, while we're here, we can tinker some things beforehand. You're on, if you're on a MacBook, anything will do, even M1. I just set this stuff to the highest. It says it's overclocked, it really isn't because it's thinking you're playing on a like a iPad but you're not 
Alright, the final step before you can play is press download full package and press confirm. Now this might take a little while. For me it won't. It will take possibly like a minute. But as you can see here, it will start downloading um, 2,700, no, 24,700 megabytes of stuff. And it's basically just downloading the game so it can run really, really good. I'll be back once it's downloaded. All right, the game is finished downloading. So now all we have to do is press OK and load in. Might take a little bit. OK, let me just click. And as you can see here, we're getting a pretty solid frame rate and we get a really good frame rate in game. It's pretty crazy. And the best part about this whole method is it's only around 29 gigs on your laptop because a lot of people have base storage laptops, which are like 256 gigabytes. This is definitely the best way to play it. I don't play the game. Oh yeah, there will be some stutterings when you first start the game as well. I would like to mention that. That is just due to the fact that it is compiling shaders. It will stop after a while and you can go ahead and turn all these settings up i like to turn off motion blur because we've got 60 fps on we don't really need it bloom off turn on metal effects if you really think you're not going to get a good frame rate i don't really need it but as you can see here uh, the controls work i'm playing on keeping a mouse everything is fine boom this character just came out as well i got Two consolations last night. I got him cornered. Look at this. And it is just running perfectly. It says it's running at 30 FPS. That's wrong. It's not. And it's running at 60 FPS. Most of the time, it runs perfectly. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.